my good people of Ondo State, it is partner for me to address you following the Dastali incident of Sunday, 5th June 2022, at the St. Francis Catholic Church, Owalua Street, Owa. The day marked an indisputably sad one in our dear Sunshine State when murderous elements and bloodthirsty terrorists unleashed an unforgettable star on all of us. Undoubtedly, this unprovoked attack and killing of innocent worshippers is an attack on our collective psyche in Ondo State. This is highly reprehensible tragedy. This vile and satanic attack is a calculated assault on the peace-loving people of our kingdom and indeed the good people of Ondo State who have enjoyed relative peace over the years. It was a black Sunday. Our hearts are heavy. Our peace and tranquility have been attacked by the enemies of the people. This is a personal loss to me. As you will recall, I was out of the state on party assignment in respect of our ongoing national convention. I had to cut short my stay in Abuja to have a personal first-hand assessment of the situation. On arrival, I received preliminary briefings from the heads of the various security agencies which formed the basis of movement to the scene of this devilish act in our world. The site, that is, St. Francis Catholic Church or Walua Owo presents a gory war like scene. The Federal Medical Center Owo, the St. Louis Hospital Owo, the General Hospital Owo, as well as some private hospitals in Owo were filled with the injured, most of who were in critical conditions. The most unfortunate part is the lives of innocent children cut down in their prime and some severely injured by the mindless terrorists. The total number of people involved is 80. As of now, 56 are on admission. Two discharged and unfortunately, the tell toll is 22. Efforts have been deepened to prevent further casualties. At all, the anger is palpable. The tension was at an abrasive level, just as the urge for reprisal was high. Without doubt, too, the ripple effect of this INOS Act and as well as the understandably angry reaction across the state could not have been different. To me, this is an attempt to test the will of the people of the state and indeed the Southwest. It unequivocally has the brazenly possible consequence of invitation to national anarchy because Yoruba land and indeed a war in particular have never been conquered before and it will never happen. I promise you that we shall commit every available resource to hunt down these mindless assailants and make them pay dearly. We shall never bow to the machinations of artless elements in our resolve to rid our state 
of criminals. I therefore urge their people to be calm, but remain vigilant. Do not take the law into your own hands. Leave the rest to the government to shoulder. I have spoken to the heads of security agencies, and I can show you that the security operatives have been deployed to monitor and restore normalcy to our kingdom. In honor of those who lost their lives to this unfortunate attack, I've already directed that all flags be flown at half mast for seven days, starting from Monday 6th, and this will end on Sunday 12th June 2022. This is important because it is a collective loss to the people of our dear state. I commiserate with my people in Owo, particularly the families of those who lost their lives to this wicked terrorist attack. I extend my condolences to Kabesi, the law of Owo, Obajibade Bagdegeshi Ogun Editor, as well as to the Lord Bishop of the Catholic Church on the diocese, Most Reverend Jude Arugundade. May I also use this medium to express gratitude to Mr. President Muhammad Buhari, DCFR, who aside his demonstrated concern directed his Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibadu, SAN, GCON, to visit the scene of this criminal act. I express gratitude to the Nigerian Governor's Forum, led by its Chairman, Governor John Kayode Fayemi, CON of Equity State, the Excellencies, Ashiaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Senator Ibukule Amosu, Ogbeni Rauf Aregbeshola, the Honorable Minister of Interior, and Engineer Shei Makinde, the Governor of Oyo State, also deserve a special mention for their collective and individual show of love and empathy. The my colleagues mentioned above have paid personal visits to the scene of this crime and condolence visits to the bishop and the lower of I have also received calls from numerous colleagues and all over the country and also from well many Nigerians showing their sympathy. I will thank all of them. We will, however, remain eternally grateful to His Excellency Ashiaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu for his donation of a whopping amount of 50 million to the victims and to 25 million to the Catholic Church. The gesture of Nigerian Governors Forum, which donated 50 million to the victim, is equally appreciated. These donations are to assuage the effect of the attack. In the meantime, I've directed that an account be opened to receive further donations from well meaning individuals and corporate bodies who may wish to assist the victim of this terrorist attack. I'm particularly enthralled by the wonderful show of solidarity for my brothers across party divides, especially in the state. It is heartwarming that we have found a common ground to confront this monster. In this regard, I thank the former governor of Ondo State Dr. 
Olusha Gumimiko and the entire PDB family. To all others, too numerous to mention, your show of love, encouragement, and goodwill are not taken for granted. You have displayed compassion and demonstrated an appreciable level of brotherliness. Let me also commend the medical team of Federal Medical Center, Owo, St. Louis Hospital, Owo, the General Hospital, Owo, and some private hospitals who showed love and participated in stabilizing the victims in the various hospitals. We equally appreciate the Nigerian Medical Association and BEDC for the assistance. I convey a gratitude to volunteers who assisted in evacuating victims and the dead to the hospitals and mortuaries, respectively. I thank our people who are deemed fit to voluntarily donate blood towards the treatment of the victims. They have lived up to expectation within the prison of the available space and time. I thank you all. God bless Ondo State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.